Legendary Legendary Ninja Tell him What he impress I represent When me a top Legendary Ninja she day up on the telly She no need defense from nobody She done have God already And she stand firmer than a military Anyway she walk ball She step heavy Marshal the streets them already Well it's for me When me talk about the legendary ninja She no leg, she no lava, no linger And the almighty work she a live for But violate and she ash like a ginger Welcome to legendary ninja telly you know people Walk one another evening, yeah, people. But there, you know, want to big up on yourself, the old subscribers. Big up the new ones, also. Blessings, too, no. A video here to share with Minister Mary and all. And it's only right that I share this video because I shared the first one. And as you guys all know, I am an avid lady saw slash Minister Mary and all fan. So, Mr. Marion all go, I will follow her. Let's see what the minister has to say. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Typo, right? Bless the Lord. So we're looking at Psalm chapter 12. And we're speaking about people who gossip and lie about people. Like for me, when I, I, I did a testimony about what I've overcome and how the devil try, and I know, I know the devils, I know them, how they try. You know, what I saw them do with my testimony, I was telling women not to purchase, you know, them little vibrators, because I had purchased one little one and, and oh, it was better than men. and. If that, if man was created for women and women for men, if God, that was what God did. He created man for woman and woman for man. What, whoever created that, it can't be of God, you know, because of how it was. So I minister about it. And, you know, I always encourage you whenever I'm ministering to not buy it. Don't, don't buy it because I had was to throw it away because it pulls you away from so you know what i'm saying so if it's gonna pull you away you're looking at the drawer that is in anyway they put some things over my head them cut my sermon and put it over some sitting over my head i don't even know what they were <laughs> i don't know what they were but whatever they did that for was to embarrass me to to cause people to believe that i'm not called you know but we are not ashamed of our testimonies you know it's my first time buying one of them little things, one little thing like this. Anyway, I told women not to, don't purchase it, don't get it, just wait on the Lord for your husband. So they use and them do all these things, put over my over my head and say, and you think it's me, it's God. You're entering God name to be glorified. Because when we do testimonies like that, you don't even see there was a woman of God who is now redeemed by the shed blood of Jesus. And she gave a testimony that day of where she's coming from. And no one got to see that testimony, how powerful it was. And oh God redeem this woman oh god sanctify this woman oh god reinstate this woman yeah nobody saw the testimony about her i won't tell it until she tell it another day but we are not ashamed of our past we're not ashamed of anything that we overcome you understand yeah one thing me can't tell you me never deal with a girl you can't get that off write it off amen so whoever want to be seen and come up with that dirty and clean story about the woman of God, trust me, God gonna pay you for it. Feed him or give reward. Cause you see what the Bible said, he's gonna do cut off 
the flattering lips them cut off all all of them you know all flattering lips and tongues that speak it proud things amen that's what god gonna do because he don't like lying tongues so people of god do not be ashamed of your testimonies you've overcome by the blood of the lamb on your testimonies okay when you when you speak about your testimony so the devil see that you're no longer ashamed you're no longer oppressed you're no longer addicted you're no longer you understand then the devil lose but if you hide your testimony then watch money how is it that god is going to get his glory so when you do what you do and cut up whatever and put all these things over my head, which you're familiar with because you know them. I don't know them. You use them. I don't use them because I never seen them. Who you think is getting glory? Your God, the devil, your father. That's who's getting, yeah, the glory. Yeah, I remember one time somebody hacked my Twitter page, hacked my Facebook back in the days, and they put some stuff like that. You know, so I, I know where it's coming from. Yeah, but that's on you, not me. I don't know those things. Bless the name of the Lord. So I will forever tell my testimonies, and I'm not ashamed of them. Amen? And we're going to have testimony time in this church. Amen? Bless the Lord. So people of God, if you're in Florida, the church is at 6710 North University Drive in Tamara. Okay? Bless the Lord. Yes, Christina. Yes. And you know what? I'm strong, but sometimes, you know, for years when you're getting beat down, beat down, beat down, you just get too much sometimes, you know. But one thing, though, I will never let go of my God. I will never shame him. I will never, like, crucify him again, like, go back to being Lady Saw. So that will never happen. Yeah, when we go in a dance hall, I shoot me, I shoot down things, me, I shoot down arrows, shoot down anything we raise up against God, anything we rise against God. You understand? And we're going in for the glory of God. We're going in to mash up Satan's kingdom. That's what we go there for. What did I go there for when I go sunface? Yeah? Go step out and mash up things. Amen? Bless the Lord. But the enemy was, the devil was twisting it at the time. Yeah, but sometimes I have to tell all him, they think they may make him run well with them. Anyway, bless the name of the Lord. So we're looking at this Psalms right here. And it started out with help. David pleading with God for help. And we need help. We all need help. Whatever it is that we, we're up against, we need help. We need help fighting these battles, spiritual battles. We need help. Because a lot of children are going astray. They are being taught other things other than godly things. So right here, David said, For the godly man sees it, for the faithful fail among, from among the children of men. You know, so the devil, when you read in the Bible about the, the, when man sleep, oh, the enemy went and plant, yeah, tears among the wheat. Yeah, the wheat and the tears, the Lord said, they, they have to grow together. But it was while man sleep, when you were in your bed not praying, that's when the enemy said, attack no, because he's not praying. Go in now, because he haven't prayed in a long time, Sister Donna. You know? Yes, bless the Lord. And Auntie Donna, God bless you. I see you. I spoke to you the other day and I, I you know, I, I know, you know who I be from a long time, but sometimes it makes no sense you even try a case. You don't let them try them one case. Amen. Bless the Lord. So the real people know, like you know who I am already. Amen. Bless the Lord. So look at this now, people of God. It's all evil that is going on in this earth. Evil, evil, evil. Every time you, you turn on the TV, evil, something evil happened. Turn on, you, 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 you look at something evil up and just bear evil, bear evil, bear evil. You understand? Bless the name of the Lord. Yes, hallelujah to Jesus. Glory be to God. Yes, Stephanie, you good? So he's asking God for help. And I wrote some notes down and we spoke about, oh, God ate these things. When we look into 
the book of Proverbs 6, verse um, 16 to 19, and we read about all these things that David was talking about. Yeah? David, that was to go up to. He went through so many stuff, running from Saul, running from his son. You know what I'm saying? You know? And God, he cried. One thing I love with David, he's not ashamed to tell you, you know, Lord, I've sinned. I've sinned, Lord, because I have sinned. Recently, I got angry, you know. I got angry at my sister. I sinned, you know. And the Bible said, you know, you, should, you can sin and not, you know, angry and not be like not sin. Once you don't let the sun go down on your heart. So that means when before evening come, you better sort it out with God. You better tell the Lord, God, uh, today I, I, I was off today. Yes, Lord, something happened today, you know. So broken try bless the lord yeah and once you 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 go to him and say god i don't know what happened today but today i was so overwhelmed lord you don't forgive me lord if i if i've caused you any disappointment you know what i'm saying because i sin against god and him only have i sinned against yeah hallelujah to jesus so we talk about social media. Sister Janet, how are you doing? We talk about social media and how it's a breeding ground for evil doings. It's like pandemic hits and a lot of people were scared. And God carry us because it was during the pandemic. Before the pandemic, God said, it's time to preach. And I didn't know that he was going to have me preach because I couldn't work. So he had me preach so that when people start saying, I was so blessed by your ministry. Do you have a cash up? I said, what is that? I didn't know what cash up was. You don't have a Zell? What's Zell? What, what PayPal? And they say, I want to bless you, send you a monetary gift. I said, well, I, I can't put up cash up or, or no Zell. I don't want people to say I'm begging them. I don't want to beg nobody nothing. No woman of God, you have blessed us. Listen, and that is how it started. People always cuss me and say me begging. Oh, you know, the other day when I was giving out my flyers and telling them we have cold food and we have church on Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning, we start here and we have prayer, praise and preaching. All right. So come to church. But you know what? We sell food to, you know, on Friday. So I'm telling them what we have on the menu. Somebody go on the, the, the Instagram and write. From recording to selling food. Yes, I'm not selling my body. Yes, I'm not selling slackness. Yes, I'm not selling a lie. Yes, I'm not selling fake. Yes, I'm not selling Jesus. He's for free. Not selling salvation. It come to Jesus Christ. So what's the crime have I committed? What crime have I committed to sell the food? Eh? When I preach and somebody giving me an offering, you quarrel. Don't give her anything. If I try something to cook something, you have a problem, that cannot shame me. I buy my food, good food, and I cook good, clean food for the people. Eh? Amen? So, you think you're going to say that to me, and I'm going to feel I, I say yes. From recording to selling food on the street, yes. I like it. Didn't you see me feeding the people on the street too? Oh, you didn't say that. Blood of Jesus against you, man. Oh. <laughs> when you say that song, they want from me, but me don't go be a Left that one there, whole song, man. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, people of God, it's just evil. The godly men, the godly, the godliness of, of God in men have ceased. <coughs> Sorry, that was what David was saying. Yeah, and today we can't say the same thing because so much evil taking place, so much killing. Eh? Look at this now. Part of what God needed to restore my peace, my joy, my stability, 
my my everything here in America. Oh, this is just a breakup song. Tell the devil, tell the devil, this is not a breakup song. But don't be done with you. Hey, hey. I tell you, people of God, I gotta find it back. Hey, my people say, "Wake up, my Bible." I can't bother you It was just for that time, you know what I'm saying? And God just blessed me like when everybody saying. What is that Bible thing? She dissing, she cussing people. No, God placed me in the book of Ezekiel. And that's what I'm telling, you know, Ezekiel to do. He said, kiss out the Bible and said, name up everything, eat the whole book. Because I'm sending you to a people. They're not of a strange language. They understand your tone. They understand, like me, they understand my broken English, my part where them understand dance all them new. So God, uh, God is a God of all nation, all heritage, all culture. Amen. So he can, God talk to me in a part one. When me a plan for you, I got big on you. God tell me that when he told me to go and get baptized that day and God speak to me, don't address it now. Continue. You will rise in the midst of them. God speak to you anyway. Remember when I go ask my ex for money via email and I lay down? So you didn't think your God could have given to you? So, yeah, so broken English. And when you, you speak in, in, in heavenly language, you speak in all Chinese and you don't give God China yet. You know what I'm saying? Bless the name of the Lord. So I'm just showing you what I... Sound like in dance hall. Don't let them tell you about I want a yacht in Miami. That that blogger just want to make some money. Yeah? So they just put up some things, okay? Yeah, and that outfit that I'm in is not, no, it's long time when me nearly this out. Anyway, bless the name of the Lord. So each song is done for a particular season. And you know what I've been going through. You remember when I was almost homeless here? And I was going through depression and anxiety. Remember that? When I was going through depression, okay? Good morning, Sister Antoinette. I am not ashamed to tell you. I was almost homeless here. And I couldn't, at the time, I didn't have nowhere to, to preach. Didn't know how I was going to feed myself. You know, like the ministry, when I preach and people send offering out of buy my food, buy my clothes, you know, my ten dollar, my twenty dollar, them, you know what the thing said. But something happened that caused me to develop something that God didn't give us fear. My ministry is to uplift your spirit, you know, and encourage you and tell you where I'm coming from and what I've overcome. So at the time, I was in fear of being, like, deported because I have overstayed here. I also was fearful of other things. I um, was just bawling, bawling to God, how oh, did I not see this? You know, how was I blindsided? And I felt like so foolish. And um, I just didn't, I was lost, lost. There was a friend, I started staying at her house, as you all know. And um, she was giving me the bed. I said, no, Diana, give me the couch, you know, and I, I remember staying there, wait until her guests were gone, then I would spread my bed there, you know? And I also had a chair that I could lay back in. Now, um, that my red chair, you know it. And I develop anxiety attack, and I develop fear, and I develop depression. It was just a lot for me, you know? And um, I went, when I got over it, when I got over fear, when I got over 
the anxiety because God spoke to me right through the whole process. Every time he speak to me, I remember him saying this. People of God, we came with a word, but sometimes I, I, I cut to talk to you, you know, one on one. I remember when he said, Marion, you're not drowning. The devil just wants you to think you are. When he said this to me, it blew my mind when he said, so Marion, based upon everything that I've done for you, why are you worried? And that is how I did. Based upon everything that God done for me, I ain't worried. I ain't worried. When I was in sin, Lord, you set me free. So I ain't worried. I ain't worried. When everyone turned their backs on me, you stood by me. So I ain't worried. I ain't worried. It's all good. It's all gonna be great. It's all good. I don't mind wait. Cause based upon everything that you done for me, I ain't worried. That's how that song come about. That's on my album too, okay? All right, remember that. Based upon everything that he's done for me, I, I'm just going to title it, I Won't Worry. And God gave me, in the midst of my crying, falling in this one room that I now moved to, the one that God had placed me when I just got baptized, he placed me there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, hallelujah, I'm not pretending, hallelujah, when you, when God rolled back the curtain, you know, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus, hallelujah, 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 I almost lost my mind, you know. Mm. Ah, quench that. Don't quench it. Go quench it. Uh, hey. Woo. Mm, I'm holding back because I want to tell you. Uh, 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 uh. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. So I want to I wanna play something for you. And this was when I, 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 God restored me. Yeah? God restored my joy. He restored my peace, you know. And I had was to slap myself, you know, like, like, like say, come on now. You, you know, when God said, based upon everything that I've done for you, why are you worried? It, it took me to a place where even the other day when what happened, I have to remember, you know what I'm saying? Like God said that to me. You have to remember what God said to you all the time. Remember what he said to you all the time. Remember where he brought you from all the time. No matter what people say about you, remember what God said about you and what God said to you. It's not about what people say about you. It's what God said to you. He knows who you are. He knows why he called you. He would have called you if he knew you could manage the task. You're going to break down sometimes, but get up. Get up and face the same people and tell them, I'm not going nowhere. How about that? Hallelujah. So I, 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 I was, I remember vehicle driving beside me and I jumped. That's anxiety. And I was anxious when I spoke to the lawyer that God gave me to talk to concerning my papers. And God tell me everything one-on-one, 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 everything one-on-one, one-on-one. That's why you hear me talk about stop order. When I say I put a stop order on this and I put a stop order, God personally tell me the word stop order. I said, what's stop order, God? What is stop order? First, he, he told me that. And then in the evening, I, I was going across to one public supermarket. I was in Claremont. And I hear the Lord say injunction. I said, but what is injunction? Both of them sin sound alike. You know, and God was putting stop order up on the enemy. And what the enemy was doing to me. God said, I'm putting a stop order on that. I'm putting a, a injunction on that. You understand? Ah, uh, you think God easy. God told me about something years ago when the enemy come and attack me. God said to me, people of God, I'm going to get back to the word, you know. We have time. God said, I'm going to cause an ambush. And I see ambush, but then I, I see some ambush. Uh, even when you think God is done with it. God is still warring on your behalf. And when God says something, it may not happen now, but 
it will happen. And I'm looking at the ambush like that guy, like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, you know what an ambush is, right? Okay, okay. Look here now, people of God. When I was going through, I start talking, say, I'm doing this video and this song. So I dropped this song, like I, I just dropped, you know, I was on my thing. And, I, and the demon, them get up again, confusion and destruction to draw the people away. And I said, God, look at it. Come out with the pictures and this song was the song. Peer trouble. Peer madness. And it's been going on for a long time. It's like the enemy want me to be silent. So as soon as a song supposed to drop, all hell break loose. Then I say, where I go? Shut her down. Go and do this and do this and do this so nobody don't care no mind. That's what's happening all the time. And this was so much... I get so much harassment under the quiet where Uno don't know about. People attack me all the time and secretly messing with me. And the first, the first time you see everything go public and people start crying when you fling one stone in at the egg bread, that was what then troubled me until trouble reached them. So every song. Everything I do, even when I was about to preach my first sermon, craziness happened. Be a madness. When I say I'm, I'm going to preach my first sermon Sunday at 11 at the house here, by the time I look somebody 11 o'clock, the same time them start off church too. <laughs> Can't do nothing in peace. It's like a joke. God called me and them just make a mockery of God. You know, and I, I'm not going to take it no more. I'm not going to sit down. You understand, Tabitha? Anything God said to do, I'm going to do it. God gave me this song, and I went to New York, and I tell you, because I used to just dress up in my old clothes, them, you know, I follow people. And when God tell me, you have given me a heart, and that is enough, that was when I knew. Dress up for Jesus. So people of God, my songs are coming out. Me love you, me love you. Me love you, me love you. Till we can't love you no more, we be, eh, the way all me love you. Yeah, nobody gonna stop no more of my song. Them, no matter what madness them want go on with, them can distract as much as them want. It's not gonna stop me from coming with my song. Them part of what God needed to restore my peace, my joy, my stability, my, my everything here in America. Oh, this is just a breakup song. Tell the devil, tell the devil, this is not a breakup song. But don't, we don't. I'm happy that I delete the, the big page. And everybody say, you see, you they delete almost a million followers. I say, God will send the right people. God will send them. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Thank you. So, yeah. We're going to have church, and church is going to grow. And you see, after me and my sister baptized five people, you see when the attacks get um, fierce, you know? Fierce, because they want they, they want to show the people that you're not, you know? And they start telling my members, you really going to stand with that woman? You don't know, see she said this and that. She said, I'm standing with her. And you have another one say, I'm standing with her. I don't care what you say. Yeah, yeah, I'm standing with her. God sent me to our church to stand with her, and I'm standing with her. Did you know that? People start telling the members stuff to, to, to take them away from here. It's like they don't remember who God called. You think Peter never fall? I didn't fall like do nothing, no sinful stuff, right? But look at Peter. Peter, the devil got into Peter. And the devil tell Peter, say, tell him, say, be that far from him. I'm not going to go on no cross. Yeah. And Peter was there opposing and, and trying to hinder God from getting to where he's supposed to go. That's why he came on her. And Peter became, Peter was like, you know, when you have a building and, and you see a post, well, it up, but he become the pillar, you know of the, the, the New Testament, you know. Yeah? Yes, bless you, Sister Princess. Yes, so so we are not perfect. There are times when we go on ball. 
Yeah, how much time you hear Moses ball? How much time Paul cry? And who does God call? Paul himself tell you who God call. God don't walk up and down and look for celebrities and the rich and the famous. Yes, he does call some, but God, for him to really get his glory, you know, not that he don't get it from celebrity. I'm telling you, God will take you out of some dark place. God use some messed up things. So when you won't tell my members, them, you don't stand with that woman? Huh? Ruby? Sister Ruby? You from Florida? Yes, I'll cash up, man. Dollar sign. Minister Marion, M-A-R-I-O-N, all, yes, H-A-L-L. Some spell Marion, but Marion, but it's M-A-R-I-O-N. Yes, that's my cash up. Dollar sign, Minister Marion, all, H-A-L-L, bless the Lord. So, you know, they're telling my people, I, I'm staying in Christ, man. Me now come out of him. I'll when you see me ball and say, me gone. Me now come out of him, man, not leaving him. Me can't leave him. I remember when how much things happened to me. Who could I run to but him? Hmm? Who could I run to? Yeah? So, when I look now and I look at how yeah, 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 everything, you know, you have spectators that come to the church and they look and they leave, but I know who God plants here. And they're going to stay with me. They're going to pray me through. Whenever the battle gets hot, one of them going to take the mic and go up there and preach, yeah, while the others pray over me because it's not an easy road. You hear me, Sister Monique? It's not an easy road. Ah, David, we talk about uh, all of them gone through so much stuff. Amen? So I ain't nobody perfect, and I didn't do nothing. It's not like me go, they're going to do something. Like, you know that? Yeah, it's just that some words were said, and, I, and the words really cut me deep, you know? It's like, cut me deep. Yeah, and I believe that, you know, the words let me feel like I'm not called, I'm not worthy to preach, you know, and I had was to remember what God said to me when he said, you are no my servant who will be ministering for me on my behalf. And right away, God sent me out send me out and he kept sending me out and God would never bring me here and, and and bring me here and give me this and then you know what I'm saying so I know who I am I know who I am in God and maybe for a for a moment you know I allow the, the words to get the best of me what what the person said yeah mm -hmm. yeah Yes, much money. So, so, so when I look now, we looking at, at what we, yeah, let us read what I wrote down here. So, as I said now, we are living among ungodly people, people that do evil, murderers, rapers, you know, thieves. And when I look, It's what's sad is that if you stand for righteousness, you become an enemy of people, or people that works for the devil. That's what I, 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 that's how I look at it. Because if you oppose the word of God, oppose the righteous man, oppose us from bringing the word you know, and you try to do all kind of things to end the word. That means you're an enemy of the gospel. You're an enemy of God. Yes, yeah, so when I look, I wrote it down just last night. And, and, and I said, yeah, it's very sad that if you stand for righteousness, you, became, you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness and a target to those who occupied the positions that the ruler of that kingdom of, yeah, gives unto them. Amen. Slim. I saw you spelling it S L I M. Well, bless the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. 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 Mm. Just, just.
just just seeing you you know sending your offering it's been it's been a while since anybody sent anything and you know like a few people that you know say god spoke to me and 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 sometimes I used to like, you know, worry. Don't call a number, please. Sometimes I used to worry like, they call a number, that's why. Like, but I, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna worry, the bills are coming up, but don't worry, don't worry. God is gonna deal with it. God is gonna, you know, God always do it. God give it to you. God is gonna pay the bills. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It may look like it's not gonna be paid, but God is gonna pay you. Sister Doreen, thank you. And I was really worried like, and um, when when one of the ministers said, you know, cause you have the ministers, they do they work hard, you know, like you have people that go to school and, and go and they work too. So they work and go to school and then, you know, they don't have it. And that's why when I said, I put down the offering, I just say, you know, whenever you feel like or whatever, God bless on your heart, because I can't tell them to, you know, give me this, give me that. But they acknowledge that. They say, boy, the bills are, I know it's a lot on you, you know, and, you know, I just prayed for God to bless me, you know. F f so, so they, when you hear me say that, nobody supported me, like, sometimes it's sad, right? Where you feel like you're alone. And, and like, nobody support you, like, you know, so that kind of take a toll to like you feel like oh when I was out there they would support me so why is it that you know what I'm saying but God is able and sometimes I get like as you know I didn't I, I messed up with my, my music right so um I don't have a lot of stuff that I I don't own. Yeah, I messed up, didn't, you know, unknowingly. But I don't really want to talk about that. But sometimes, like, I will get, like, one time I owe, like, 3,000 something. Like that. <laughs> and God said, 3,000 something check, right? Because I used to get a check, like, for 5,000 sometimes. And all of a sudden, they call and say somebody that I did a song with wanted money. Me say, ooh, I didn't even know what I was collecting money for, right? Please don't call. So um, when I, um, I say, okay, that song never go anywhere. It was just on an album, and I don't know many albums. And that song never go anywhere. You know, you have songs that they're like makeup songs. They had up. You know, this person spiteful, you know, this person know what's going on because I just give out the number and the person keep calling and the person consistently doing it. And it's not, the person who's doing it is doing it not out of love because you would not be calling, calling. I know you watch the live and you know what you're doing. So stop ringing the phone. I'm using it. Stop it. You know, um, anyway, people of God, bless the Lord, Sister Andre. Thank you so much. Amarcus. Oh, if I can pronounce it, if, anyway, bless you. So, like, oh, I want it like that amount. Anyway, let me tell you. So, the person now, this person say them want them money. I never hear from these people who are sending this this check to me. You know, over the years, I would get it. And I don't know what I was getting money for. One time, I know I saw this song with me being a man and Sean Paul on it, boss man. And, and like, you, I think maybe something from... Gwen Stefani, them, you know, that, that song, Underneath It All, I think I've seen something. But I didn't know exactly any person, them said the person wants his money. I said, what money? So the song that the person said they want money for, it never hit, never go anywhere. But I know where he wanting his money come from. Why, he, you know, he's tra tracking me down for, for like 15 cents, 20 cents, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, but all I know, the, the check that was like 5,000 go down to like 400 or something. You know, 
I'm like, whoa, oh, there is so much money for that one song would never go anywhere, right? So what am I collecting from? Anyway, people of God, I'm just telling you, you know, you know me to hide nothing. And he just keep going down and I say, so all oh, no, them can't take out free money yet. And that song never hit. Nobody even know the song, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I, I know where why he, he came for that money. But anyway, I didn't know I was he was on one of the albums. So take it, him deserve it. But he's going down. I'm like, this song never hit. And they're taking out all this big chunk, only giving me $400 out of this check. You know, and you know, one day I was there and I need to pay the bills. And guess what? It came, three thousand something dollars came. I said, wow, they must have finished giving him his money. You know what I'm saying? So in the meantime, though, I did songs for him. And I said, in the meantime, ask him what about my money for the song that I did for him. They said I should call him about that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah to Jesus. So I just show you that's how God take care of, you know, whatever I need. Yeah, that's how. There's always, he's going to make a way, you know, out of no way at all. So sometimes I don't. I don't know how the bills gonna pay. Look what God did. The musicians, they do the kitchen for me. You hear me tell you? Yeah. And at the time, I opened a little account for this church with what I had. And I use it and we buy a little fridge and buy, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And one of them bring a piece of thing there and him, him cut it out, put the sink in it. One bring a microwave, that's how God do. Some of these equipments, like somebody bring them because he have a whole lot of sound system things. Yeah, so God is a provider. So let me tell you now, the lips that speak against us, God says in, in the tongue and the lip, him God cut them off, you know. So, you know, look at this now, people of God. So I wrote them down and I said, that when we stand for righteousness, there's always an entity out there that wants us to fall. Yeah? And we have to grab ourselves sometimes and catch ourselves and, you know, really talk to ourselves. You know? Yes, and I said, you Preach know what, Lord, sister. show me how Preach to go back Mariana, and face your people. Real. The I, I deleted the other. Yeah, so I pray that you will send Some of the tender bars, the right man, them I can't take so a I hit, say, but show love me how, because huh. even now I don't feel fully, you know, yeah, yeah, because uh, as I said, so I, it's like I just keep remembering, you know, so I end up saying some things too, yeah, yeah, and I got to ask God, you know, to forgive me too, no bad word or so, you know, but I still read that person, them rights, and Maybe I should, yeah. So, yes, God will foot the bill. Yeah, we we go off church. Look, when the light lock off, you know, it's like the enemy wants to shoot me and hear yeah, one of my church members. Don't tell the people. I say, you know what? You know what? Well, I pray the light late, so no light down there. But go and get your food. Go and get your food. Say, don't say. I say, you know me. Tell them many things. Me tell them the truth, man. Me no want me. me, not, me. Yes, the light wasn't paid on time, so don't feel no way. You know, cause them combine the food in the dark. <laughs> but we have little like, amen, bless the Lord. Yes, so you see, yeah, I just wanna tell you the truth and done, you know, I messed up and I and that's it. You know, if I say, you know what, I messed up yesterday, you know, I, I messed up. I, I should have been stronger. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So hallelujah. Bless the Lord. So David said. For the godly man sees, you know, and this is what we're doing nowadays, you know, just tearing down each other. And it's sad to see. I want to talk to you as my sisters and brothers in Jamaica and here, okay? I love you. I just want to talk to you from my heart, yeah? Okay. You ever hear the saying, dance a yard before you go abroad? You hear it, right? Oh, rock star, you don't take everything. You're telling me when people tell you something. Anyway, dance a yard before you go abroad. While we were growing up, we, were, we grew up with respect. I got beaten from Miss Richard because my teeth are bread. 
But me a thief, me go buy the bread and Miss Richards and I don't hear I take my money and serve myself with the bread and gone up the road. Come back, but one of the bread no have grown. Me go back and Miss Richard give me a proper beat. And I said, but I come to serve. I come for serve. I didn't hear your mom. So I serve myself, a little girl, right? Beat me and my father beat me too. Anyone could speak to you on the road. A, a, as a mom, a dad, even a young person can correct you on the road. But it, when you're going to the shop, coming back, whatever, in school, wherever. Because I get double beaten whenever I go to school. I do not I get beaten there, then my dad beat me too. Um, what I've known as Jamaican, I'm talking to you women. We come from a line of women or strong women. Yeah, the nanny them. Yeah, and let me tell you, the Louis Bennett, them, we grew up on them, and those women was respectful women, yeah, and we have never, I don't know, we, we changed the music, because I helped to change it, and I change it, and it becomes a mess. I wasn't using my gift for the glory of God. I was follow suit, follow follow people, you know, man I sing about this, let me sing about it, but defend the women them. But then things were said, but one thing we have never done. And the first time I saw that I I did it, I took away, I took off. When I realized that I had was to talk to a woman in a derogatory way, a sister. It brought shame to me. I was ashamed of myself. And I talked to myself and I said, why did I allow those people to bring me down to their level? And I left the music. I want to talk to you, brothers and sisters, my Jamaican people. I love you. I admire certain women like you see, Shelly and Fraser Price, she's not a friend of mine, and I'm not a friend of hers. I met her only once, but I've watched her gracefully accept her win and her losses on the track. And off the track, I've seen a lady with class. I've admired certain women and ever since I was a little girl, you know, when I put the Bible for my head, it would be mean this serious thing now, yeah? I used to admire women who carry themselves respectful and carry themselves with class. And if I could find another word, there's a woman that works at the Gleaner or the Observer, the Observer. She wear like white glasses and uh, she was one when I was. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment, man, no comment. Don't be a stranger. Get me out of here. She no bad mind, she no swindler She trot straight from the valley, she no mingler A long time she had done no parting Don't look for your cause she read all the truth she a bring Legendary ninja tell it You don't know <laughs> And the truth she a spread it You hear that?